Hi, this is Kim from Emerging Creatively Tutorials, and this is the Inspired Mini Series. This is Week 1A. So, a couple of days ago, I shared a prompt with you and gave you a little introduction to this little mini series I'm providing for you for free. And um, I shared my art journal page. Um, the prompt was things I love about my life, but actually um, I had changed that somehow just um, sub subconsciously from the things I like most about my life to things I love about my life. And so I had shared this already and if you missed the prompt and in the introduction you can go back um, over at KimberlyKohler.com. Um, I'll put a link below this video if you're watching it on YouTube so you can find it. Um, so now we're ready to move on. Um, so hopefully you have your art page, your art journal page, um, in whatever form you want. I did a list and I just sort of added some colors. And now we're going to take this page and um, translate it into a piece of jewelry because that is what I love to do most is make jewelry. And probably if you watch me, um, you love making jewelry too. So. I'm going to show you what to do. So the first thing I did was I just looked at my page again. I just sort of went through it, looked at what I wrote, um, and then I picked out my favorite thing on this page. So something that really stood out to me, um, which is a word that always stands out to me, and especially since I kind of chose this as my word for the year, um, the words adventure and exploring, um, especially adventure, came out to me. Um, I love to go on road trips. I love seeing new things. I love anything you can think of that's kind of adventurous. So I decided I wanted to make a piece of jewelry based on that word. So there is a step I take between going from um, an art journal page to a piece of jewelry um, and that is I like to make a kind of a list or a map of what the possibilities could be for my piece of jewelry. So I did that on this page. So I started by writing an adventure on top because that's what I um, want to focus in on for my piece of jewelry and then I just kind of wrote ideas. So then I have basically a few different categories here. So I have themes, colors, slash stones, and techniques. So for themes, I started thinking about things that um, I think about when it comes to adventure. So some things I have here are compass, arrows, trees, nature, walking stick. I thought about colors that remind me of the word, so that kind of tended to be in the blue and greens. And then I thought about some different techniques I might want to try, um, so wire wrapping, a pendant, or using some mixed media, or um, a wire wrapped feature on a bracelet, and I thought I'd want to use brass wire and chain. Now, this page is just to give you some ideas, and there are no wrong or right answers here. Um, basically, anything that comes to mind. Blue doesn't necessarily need, mean adventure to anybody but me, <laughs> you know? Um, I'm not sure, you know, even where that color came from. And this is just like kind of a starting point, really, because um, as you start making your piece of jewelry, you'll probably find you do different things. So I originally thought I was going to make some sort of wire wrapped pendant um, or a kind of a feature in a bracelet, some sort of thing. And you know, that didn't actually happen in my jewelry piece. So I'm going to show you my jewelry piece. I'm. Um, I'm going to do a separate video a little bit of how I made it just so I don't want to kind of muddy up this video because I want you to use your own inspiration and not just do what I did of course but if you're interested in how I actually put together my necklace then you can get some ideas on how to do it so that will be on a different video but I'm going to show you. So 
you get the general idea here, I hope. You just kind of look at your original art page, your original art journal page, and see what stands out to you. Um, you know, there's lots of things that could have come up here, lots of different things um, I could have pulled from as inspiration. And then you just kind of make your map. So um, you might have different um, headings here, but these are good ideas, themes, colors, different stones you might want to use, techniques. So um, when you think about the word or the theme that you have decided to focus on, just kind of go through this and see what comes to mind and jot anything down. And then just kind of go gather up some supplies and start working on your jewelry piece. Um, it's good to have an idea of where to start because if you don't, you could have all your jewelry supplies out and not have any focus. So um, if you know you want to do some wire wrapping, then you know you should grab some wire and start that. If you're going through your beads, um, it's good to have a color so you know maybe which beads to look at. Maybe you just bought some new beads and you want to use those. Like I said, there's no wrong or right way to do this. It's just whatever is in your mind. So let me show you my piece of jewelry I made. So here is my necklace I made. Um, and it has a compass in the back. And I've put in some um, of these uh, kind of rhinestone things I've had for a while. And it is in a... Um, pocket watch case um, from Tim Holtz and in fact this pendant um, this compass in the background with the spinner are also Tim Holtz they're scrapbooking supplies um, that I use quite often I love um, but I made it into snapless and as you can see I did end up using brass and I did end up using blue and some turquoise um, and this is a bead I actually got this strand of really cool beads at Michael's um, and I kind of added that on there so to me this kind of reminds me of adventure and if we go back to my map compass and arrows were on that list my colors um, are the same from the list to the blues and we have a compass, I have the arrow, um, and I encased it all on this pocket watch. So that is how I kind of went from my art page, my art journal page, to this piece of jewelry. And I hope that inspires you to do the same. So I encourage you to go now and look at your journal page and see what you come up with. And um, if you would like to share what you do come up with, I would love to see that. Okay? Go have a great day and be inspired.